Novak Djokovic versus Lorenzo Musetti is the second semi-final for the Men's Olympics for 2024. And both guys have had impressive roads to get to this stage. Musetti entered the tournament as the number 11 seed and will take on Mofis in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-4. In the second round, he take on Navone. And after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-6, 6-3. In the third round, he take on Fritz, the number 7 seed. A man that he played a five-setter against on the grass at Wimbledon a couple of months ago. But this time, it was no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 7-5. In the quarterfinals, he take on Zverev, the number 3 seed, who'd won won the gold medal at Tokyo Olympics three years ago. And after a couple of close sets, Musetti would get through 7-5, 7-5 to advance to the semifinals. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on Ebden in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. Six love, six one. In the second round, he'd take on Rafa Nadal, a man that he'd played 59 times previously, which is the record for the most times anyone's played anyone else in the history of the ATP. But unfortunately, Rafa wasn't up to it. Djokovic got the win. Six one, six four. In the third round, he'd take on Kepfa, who'd taken out Rayonic and Anaudi along the way. And after a close first set, would get through in straights. Seven five, six three to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number eight seed City Pass, a man that he'd beaten 10 times in a row previously, including five on clay. And after a close second set, Djokovic would get through in straights, 6-3-7-6, to advance to the semi-finals. These guys have played seven times before, with Djokovic leading 6-1 in the head-to-head. -head. However, the two times they've played at the French Open and in Roland Garros, they've both gone to five sets, including a match a couple of months ago, where Djokovic was down two sets to one and fought back to win. They did, however, play at both Wimbledon and Monte Carlo this year as well, with Djokovic getting wins in straight sets. But the way Djokovic was playing against Sitsi Pass, especially with a knee problem, Musetti really has a chance here to do something special. If Musetti's going to win this one, he needs to play amazing. He can't just go a about it like he has been, or at least like he does against Djokovic sometimes, where he's a little bit, I guess, defensive and a little bit scared of Djokovic. He needs to go out and be aggressive like he was when they played at the French Open a couple of months ago. He's got to be aggressive because Djokovic, if he has got a knee problem, he's got to really move him around early and be aggressive to make Djokovic run. If Djokovic's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive because what we saw against City Pass was really concerning. He kind of fell away in the second set for a bit. The knee was giving him problems. He was blaming the court surface. So he needs to block that out. And hopefully the knee is 100% or at least close 200% serve well and be aggressive so that he can get Musetti maybe a nervous Musetti in this one really interesting matchup they've only played bangers on the clay especially on the clay at Roland Garros but I have to go with Djokovic in three sets here I just think that the nerves will get to Musetti in the end kind of like what they did at Wimbledon I, you know, when Musetti kind of fell apart in the second set when he had a chance to win it but uh, I reckon Djokovic gets in three and makes it to the final of the Olympics but I'm gonna do the cons below who's gonna make the final